Artemis. What were you telling me the other day? Sometimes I get kind of lonely here living at the school at night. I was wondering if maybe our kindergarten artist could make me some friends. Oh, that's a great idea, Artemis. We have some really good artists in kindergarten. I know they can help you out. Let's take a look at our color wheel. For this project, we're going to be using one side of the color wheel, the cool colors, not the warm colors, blue, purples, and greens, cool colors. We're going to start by drawing two circles side by side. Now, draw a line in the middle so they kind of look like glasses. And then the next line is going to curve around from one side of the circle all the way down and around to the other side. This is our frog's face. We're going to add two pupils. That's the little black dot inside the eyes and you can color those in. Draw those little smaller circles wherever you'd like within your bigger circles and a little curved line for a smile. Now we're gonna start on the body. Draw two lines going down away from the face and then connect those together with a straight line at the bottom. Now we're gonna draw a curved rainbow shaped line for the frog's tummy and two curved lines on each side for his legs. Now we're going to add some color with these paint sticks. I'm choosing light green and dark green. You can choose whatever cool colors you'd like. I'm going to start by twisting it up just kind of like a glue stick and color in the tummy one color. I'll use my darker green color for the rest of the frog, his body and legs and face, but I am going to keep the eyes white. to work on the background for our frog. We're going to use tissue paper in lots of cool colors like teal and blue, navy, purple, and set those strips on your paper. Paint over them with a little bit of water and the color will come right off. If you want, you can make some of your papers overlap meaning they're going over top of one another just a little bit, but don't stack too many together. We want to spread them out until there's no white space left on our paper. While you're working, if some of your paper strips get a little crinkled up and messed up, that's okay. Just keep going. Keep putting that water right over top. There's no need to touch the wet tissue paper with your hands. The paintbrush will do that job for you. You're just touching the handle of your paintbrush and the dry tissue paper strips. Otherwise, your hands will get super, super messy. to cut out our frog. We're going to very carefully go around just the outside 
of our frog drawing. Notice how one of my hands is doing all the cutting and my helper hand is moving the paper around and around to make it nice and easy on my hand with the scissors. Once your frog is cut out, you're going to attach it to the background with glue stick. Watch how I go all the way around the outside of my frog with plenty of glue. And for one last detail, if you want to add an insect to the top of your page with a black oil pastel, then your frog can have some lunch. Garden. Now I have some other frogs to play with at night. Thank you.